shall we be seeing this game? Let's not forget. Wait, wait, wait. He went for proxy pylon in that last game, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proxy okay. Oracle. Specifically. Yeah. Um, I guess the biggest question is, can Maro keep using this, this style of play? I'm excited, though, Tasis, because I see a Phoenix being made. And so far, that's been something in common both times with him going mech. Sees the Stargate, right? you got to look for these patterns. Like, you know, there's, there's a little twinkle in your eye when you talk about mech artosis. Oh, my god, he's doing it again. Oh, my god, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I'm quitting Protoss. I'm switching to Terran. This is great. <laughs> oh. OK, oh, well. Stats is going to scout this immediately with an Observer. He sees what's going on. He already started Colossus tech. I think the important things are to get out uh, something that can fight against Cyclones. And in this case, he's really focusing on getting those Disruptors out quickly and make as many Nexuses as you can possibly hold. You know, this is quite different from the Bio style that we've seen, guys, because uh, when you have Phoenixes against the Bio style, what the Phoenixes can do is run in there and pick up the tanks as they're sieging up. And then it's just a bio army kiting backwards. And even if the tanks aren't killed when they're airborne, because the phoenixes are holding them, when they land on the ground, everything on the ground just shoots them down immediately. So uh, a very, very different uh, concept here. That's why it's a curious situation to see lots of phoenixes and what they can do against a mech army that seems to have a pretty solid anti-air overall. Well, right now, stats is he's just getting his upgrades he's making blink he's getting the disruptors out we saw how well he did it within the with it in the previous game the first time he was doing this against yes. Morrow. uh he will certainly do better this game i would say okay so this is this is getting so crazy like stats is moving out he's realized that maru is playing this very differently his army is so good defensively against cyclones and and hellions coming in but Maru just made a roaming force, and now he's getting a ton of sea chanks, focusing on upgrades, focusing on expanding. So stats behind this, while he is moving out and looking to maybe have a scuffle. Oh, 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 oh god! Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh my, my god. god! Okay, that might just be all you need to do to lose this game. And then he hits himself with a disruption shot. <laughs> oh. Um. Well. Okay. I actually think that similar to the last game where we saw the Tempest shot down, losing that many Disruptors might be enough for Terran to get a position where enough damage can be dealt that it might be too hard for stats to recover from. Let's see, though. He's got so many Siege Tanks. This is very, very tough indeed. Okay, he does the kind of Desperation War Prism there, but how do you break this army? This is the pressing matter. So if you get enough Siege Tanks out here, it's not easy to do, but you can start to leapfrog forward here against these Disruptors. Oh, he's going to turn around. You got to turn around, I guess. Well, maybe oh. he's just taking a better spot. Okay, yeah, okay. that's that's a pretty darn good spot. The Zelts cannot get up there easily at all. They run into the Blue Flame Hellions. Now, unfortunately, uh, these Siege Tanks are still landing in such a position that uh, they're not going to be taking a lot of damage right away, so a lot of Siege Tank shots are going to get off here. It seems like eventually Protoss does uh, push up, drive Terran away. A little bit of back and forth there, but um, you know, on the mini-map, just like we had in the last game, Protoss is able to take a lot of bases. Now, on this map, uh, specifically, it, it's pretty clear that it gets cut in half, right? Even though Terran normally can't get out of their quadrant of the mini-map, there's no way Protoss takes the bottom left base, for instance. Yeah, okay, that that's be, just not, that's the just, game would be over at that point. Yeah, that's just not a thing. This is a hamburger map, Artosis, and not a hot dog map, okay? You never had that expression? No. Where it's like it's wider than it is tall, instead of taller than it is. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was kind of thinking the hot dog being held sideways. I'm like, this is the most hot dog map we have. I'm like, hot dogs are worse for you than hamburgers, although they're all they're both pretty bad. So yeah, this map is kind of, this map is kind of squished from the top. Ooh, look at this and position. From the bottom. Gonna abuse with these seed shanks so hard. Now this is a good spot because Terran can actually push over to the right here as well. The siege tanks set up nicely here Ooh. are way more abusive than disruptors are. All right, trying oh, to please siege trying over to there. That's bases. such a good spot. Yeah, it really oh. is. Carriers are out, though, let's not forget. And they have a much higher consistent damage oh. output oh. Than, uh, than the Tempest did. So they, you know, if you have something under them so they don't get locked on, they're going to kill everything a lot quicker, that's for sure. <laughs> OK, one carrier shot down. Um, cyclones are a very organic answer to carriers already, but there's not enough of them. 
And uh, the real problem for Terran is if he loses too many of those siege tanks. Look at that, how he just sacrifices the two Liberators so he can't chase him down. Yeah, it's a great move. God. Terran would have lost a lot more yeah. uh, had it been a little bit different. But I think Terran is uh, parked a little bit too close here. Yeah. He's going to have to back up once more, especially as these disruptors get close. Oh, that's when it does get very scary indeed. So uh, right now, five Thors in production. Just tons of Thors going to be made to counter these carriers. I mean, it can they can kill carriers. <laughs> it's a different world we live in right now. But I still feel like the carriers are not fully countered by that. Oh, I love it. The Immortals being added in. Nothing really kills a Thor like an Immortal. This is a very cool game where both players are having to adjust unit compositions to constantly answer and address each yeah, other. Yeah. And it is one of these wild things, right, where if it turns into, like, there's so many Thors, then suddenly you don't even want your Stargate units. You do want just, like, Immortals and Charge Lots and Stalkers because right. then you can fight those Thors a lot better. The one thing we want to watch for is can Disruptor Shots connect to the bulk of the um, Hellion and... Uh, Cyclone. Now, if you get enough disruptors, you can have a uh, perpetual no man's land created over here. And I don't believe he has enough disruptors for that. Four is not going to cut it. Yeah, the sea chinks are going to do great zoning as well, let's not forget. Uh, the immortals, of course, if they can connect with Thors or anything like that, going to be super powerful. I love that he switched these Hellings into Hellbats to try to soak some of those shots as well. Yeah, it's smart. Gives him a little bit more sustainability. Ooh. Oh! Gets it. Did he get it? He got it. Yeah. Little thing. Okay, um, a, a small counterattacker. I don't think this is going to do that much. I mean, uh, that's going to be killed off by the yeah. rally points of units, right? Yeah, well, even slowing down rallies at this point, I think, is all right, because Stats is trying to break through this push that's coming for him. Oh, that was panic. Now, you never even, draw two of Even once. though there's a lot of uh, carriers, I'm not sure if the Nexus on the low ground can stay alive. And I think Mara was more than happy to trade. Oh, actually, even then, I don't think the carriers can do this. Look at this, the charge lot's actually doing some work there as well. Kind of oh, lose this man. nexus. I think Stats is about to get eliminated Artosis. He has well, a scary enemy. Car carriers are not fast. They're not going to be able to go back on the map and do a lot of damage. In fact, you can actually treat these Cyclones and Hellions like Zerglings now and run them to different places on the map and killing stuff. The thing is, he does have seven carriers. That It's not to be scoffed at, right? The problem is that Maru's overall army is doing a great job of zoning back the Disruptors and you know, the Immortals. But I think the Carriers are an afterthought, really. I mean, he can't actually go across the map and do any damage unless he's going to give up even more bases. Maru's winning in so many different directions in this game. Carriers are actually probably one of the only ways you can't come back. Let's say the Carriers go across the map, whatever. Hellions and Cyclones go in there and kill off Nexuses so fast. Faster than the carriers can go across the map, kill one of your bases, and recall back home. But his stats' his counter is doing pretty well over here. He's killed a good amount of SCVs. You know, he's picked off quite a few of the reinforcements that were meant to go to the bottom right. So he holds on tight, and he's going to go up to 10 carriers. You know, eventually carriers hit a number that beats just about everything. Sure. Like, that's the, just like a, a function of them. My only concern, though, is can they, can they beat everything and then beat Maru's infrastructure, his bases, right? Stats' his army, though. This is still scary. If he can get the right Disruptor shots off, if he can get these Immortals to connect with some of the, you know, the uh, Thors, like, his carriers will shred everything very quickly. Let's also remember how much uh, is banked up on both sides. Mario's got a decent amount of minerals and gas. Stats has a modest amount of minerals and time a tremendous warp. amount of gas. I don't know why we're not seeing any time warps here. I guess because probably you never really get that unit in this matchup, but I think that would have been very helpful indeed. Now look at that. That's the damage output of carriers right there. They're starting to eliminate quite a bit. Okay, well, these carriers are almost all gone, and uh, even if the Protoss can get a lot of warp ins to come through, I don't think this is going to cut it. Protoss is just barely reclaimed. Um, well, I don't believe the Nexus is finished yet, but he has began to reclaim that base close to the bottom right. And Stas has finally started a counter push. But keep in mind, Maru mined out a lot more. His minerals and his gas are shooting back down as he remakes his army. Can Stas make this work? Well, he lost a lot of sophistication in his army there as well, right? Which is going to make this kind of weird looking podunk army from Stats a little bit better by comparison. Do you know how many minerals are actually at Stats? The, the base closest to the bottom right that's hugging the right side of the map? Oh, I think it's reasonable still because he's lost it twice. Okay, once again, he could just target down these Nexuses. 
even if um, the recall comes back, he can force that army to relocate. And forces those back. Good save on the Nexus. Definitely can't be losing Nexuses right now. Mario's ground game, not bad. No. <laughs> this is so funny watching the entire army chase a Cyclone. It's like, well, you do have to kill. That thing will take down the Nexus by itself. I would love to see a small counterattack by stats once again, like we saw before, because that's part of what helped him out. Like, if he can get a couple zealots in that bottom left base even, that can really interrupt the mine. Wow, it's a lot of Templars, but Storm is not even halfway done. Well, that's that's a great counter as well. Like, I think that early on, the disruptors make a lot of sense as we get later into the game. Yeah. Storm is instant, you know? You just blanket all the, the zoning units that come up immediately. Oh, my god. Okay, not bad. I mean, again, four mech units come up can cause a real disruption over here for stats. 20, 21 probes killed right there from four Hellions. Pretty worth, I would say. Yes, I would say so. Maro is no longer in control entirely of his side of the map. There's a few bases that have yet to be taken. But behind this, you know, Maro went back, he licked his wounds. He's come back now with a pretty substantial army, a pretty balanced army. Um, the carrier count, I don't, what is the carrier count at now? It's it could, a two, and I think he's making two more. I believe that that's all we have right now. So it's not as strong as it was before. It's, it's but turned it's, into more of a ground army at this point. Yeah, especially with that side storm there. Now, hold on, this is a lot of clubbed army. Ooh. Oh! Okay. That could have been really, really bad. Oh, uh, my God, this is so good. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This is, he gets to get all the probes, and the Nexus, this is about as big of a win in a harass game as you could ask for. Now I think actually Maro doesn't want to fight. He wants to back up. Yes. He knows his opponent's getting more minerals. Uh, he's getting, excuse me, minerals not as quickly as before. Look at that, the blue flame hellion split off to go to the bottom right, and you know that there's no static D there. Oh my god, they're just going to roast these probes. Wow, it's so easy to just get these one shots off. And that knocks the worker count down to 32 compared oh. to Maru's 70 SCVs. Do you see this? He has one blue flame hellbat in that mineral line. Like, he's just punishing every little thing. The game has been scrappy enough. There's no cannons anywhere to defend this harassment. He has no units at his bases because he has to walk around with this death ball. Okay, he's going to try to box this in now. Oh, the storms are so good. Oh, the, disrupt <laughs> the disruptors do really, really well as well. Some good storms continue to go down here. And, I mean... You look at these armies, the Seed Shanks are really the one thing that are going to stop stats from walking over and killing everything. Only three left, though. Storms are hitting both Liberators in the air and tanks on the ground. This is such a, an interesting game. Um, even though that base that we saw, the, the one where the probes are killed and the Nexus was killed, uh, that hasn't been reclaimed. In spite of that, Stats has actually taken the entire lower right side of the map. I believe the, lower, the lowest, mm. most expansion uh, is not being mined from. Yeah. yeah. I do believe you're right about that. So that's definitely going to help if he can keep all this stuff alive. But look at this. Maru's just taking these funny paths. He's just like, okay, I'm going to get down here. Look oh, that Nexus is gone. Can't save it's, that in time. It's a funny little mini game. I guess Cyclones really can kill buildings so fast, yeah. even in late game. And they're so quick Jeez. on their little roller skates, they just get away our toes. <laughs> yeah, they really are. Yeah. They have roller skates. They got roller skates, man. Yeah. More disruptor shots coming out. As you can see, two can easily take out that tank. And good. Ooh. It's almost like he's pre-storming here. Yeah. Because he knows if they get too much further forward here, especially with the high number of Templars that he has. The storms Jeez. are ridiculous. Okay, man, chill out. The storms are ridiculous. Yeah. If that was bio units, game would be over. Um, now, what's weird about this attack here is I don't believe anything in this direction has minerals. So he's actually going to try to get a fight over the infrastructure. This is harder to pull off if you get this late into the game because they have so many factories coming out that you need to have a kind of disproportionate amount of your army over there to actually hold that area. It's much different than if you have Terran on three or four bases. You know, when they're on like seven or, or eight oh or God. however many he's got now, it's a very different thing. This unit's in no man's land right now, but like trading all right while he breaks through the other side as well. Maybe he can stop some mining at that base. That would be very useful. Oh, every time he loses a unit like that, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. The economies are not big enough to be losing that right now. Hmm. 153 to 131. Notice how the uh, income 
uh, because so many locations are getting mined out, and especially on the uh, on some sites, like for instance, Protoss, is we don't have as many workers as before. Every little unit that's lo that's picked off here is going to mean a lot more. There's not as many resources left on the map. There's not as many bases to mine from. Look at this army coming up right now. Definitely still very scary. Not that many siege tanks. I think he's got to commit with his disruptors in here. I think you're right. He cannot be Look losing these two bases. As this area is so important. Siege tanks inch forward. They're going to start to be able to hit those mineral mm. patches. And it looks like Protoss oh, is pushing back. Oh, these disruptor oh. hits are awesome now. And right now, the uh, Protoss oh. army is faster on foot than the Terran's army. So he can start to hit a lot of retreating units. That may be the win that stats needed here. Oh yeah. my god, I think every Thor is going to be taken out here. He's starting to destroy everything in his path. He's losing all his robots, Artosis. <laughs> He's losing them to the other robots yeah, that the, are yeah. powered by things that the died. The robots are killing the human robots. That's the whole trick. You put dead things into robots and it beats regular robots. That's right. We got all these Robocop Protoss units That's over right. here. Against zombie ro alien robots. Yeah. There's nothing inside the Colossus, right? It's just a no, computer, that's right? No, that's a complete robot. Yeah. But there is like a dead Zealot inside an Immortal and a, right. dead high, or yeah. a dead Dark Templar inside of and the Colossus. The Stalker. The Colossus runs off a PlayStation 2 CPU in there. You got it Sometimes all. Sometimes it feels that way. Yeah. Recent patch made it yeah. better. Um, well, I don't know, man. Terran lost a lot. Even though supply-wise, it seems like Protoss has less. Well, if, if these are the armies, like, you can't, you can't fight against... He's on, like, high Terran, ground. Terran forever. literally just has Cyclones and Hellions. And I mean <laughs> for the entire map, not just like what we're seeing here. Yeah, this is, like, almost his whole army right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, look Flanking at that. force. Oh, 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 oh. Through the bush, through the bush, through the bush. Oh, my God. Oh, it Whoa, He split. actually dodged it? Yeah, he only got one hit. You can't Ooh. have an awe. You must be completely decisive with disruptor shots. Robots versus robots. This is how this game was meant to be. Yeah. Oh. I still don't know who's going to win this. No, this is a crazy game. Stalkers and Zealots coming here like, this is for early game, Cyclones. <laughs> Get you back. Yeah. OK, so Maro's got that base down there. Oh, man, I wish I wish we could get an exact mineral check here. So that's mined out. Shine reading Ooh, my mind here. That's Th really Both these fresh. still have enough. Um, that Protoss uh -oh. base down there is not mined out, but now he's not going to have any probes at it. You know, this is such a I, funny series that I, we're watching right I, now. I believe the bottom right is getting close to mined out. Now, there is a base that's in the north and the upper right that stats never reclaim, and that's sort of like, um, that's like he's saving that base for a rainy day, Artosis. Well. It's raining tasteless. If he wins it's this game, robots. he's going to use that base to buy ice cream after the tournament. <laughs> um, now, hold on a second. Yeah, Maro's just going to kill if him If he wins this base, then Maro's going to take that base later on. Guess he's going to buy ice cream after the tournament. Guess what doesn't counter Cyclones? Uh, it's what? big and white and puffy. Hot balls. Yes. Certainly does not counter them. Oh, Archon's got it. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Come here, I have an attack. I'll show you. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Maru's looking at those, he's like, what do those do? Do those cast yeah. spells? Yeah. What are those? Are those healing units? They don't look like yeah. they're healing anything. What are those Protoss clerics? What is that? Some good micro by stats at oh. points here, but. Okay, three SCVs suddenly in the fight. Ooh. Turret time? Turret time. Yeah, I guess that'll be Set okay your watches. Against, uh, Oh, yeah, look this at is that. the area that needs to be held. This is the game decider, this area at the bottom of the map. Okay. The carriers, though, kicking some ass right now. Turrets finished just in time to push them back. Maru can see the future. That's why he's so good. We just yeah. figured it out finally. Uh, I think he just... I think if he just keeps pushing forward here with the turrets, I think he's got a win. Seems like he only has two uh, Cyclones, though. He needs some more army here. He's making as many as he can, Tasteless. He doesn't have that much money. It's been a crazy game. You really, oh man, why are you so mean to Maru? He's a four time champion in a row. <laughs> well, did he overextend here? I, I don't see, know. St Stats is like <laughs> inching forward. He's like, is there really nothing here? 
Keep yeah. in mind, there's no way these guys know exactly where they're at economically. No, I mean, their he, opponents are at economically, excuse me. The game is so complicated at this point. Is he going to hit SCVs with that? Yes, it's just It's too juicy. He can't help himself, but I think that was actually wrong. Yeah, no, I, I think, think you're I think actually you supposed army. to only yeah. hit army at this point. You only trade with this, army. This is a game of tug and war with armies. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if you're not getting every disruptor shot off on army, maybe eventually Mario can kill your army and then he wins. But if you... If you kill the whole army, then you can kill all the SCVs. This is the way Blizzard wanted the late game to be. Hellions versus Stalkers <laughs> at 30 minutes. What an insane series. I want stats to win so badly. I want to see game five. I know. So badly. That's all I want. Don't forget, guys, stats was eliminated in the round of 32 in the last season of GSL Kodas, so it's like, yeah. ugh. If he loses round of 16 to Mech, he's going to be really that. sad. That's what you get for wearing a cape, Templar. <sighs> Don't you feel like the, the Templar's cape goes a little bit too high, considering how slow it is when he moves? Do you think it impacts his speed, though? Are there any Templar well, skins that don't have the cape? I mean, you know, I did study enough science to know that capes do make you move faster. That is a... Uh, yeah, they make you look yeah. so much cooler, That's too. why capes are banned on race cars, is that would be... <laughs> they are! The race car equivalent of That's blood doping. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, my God. Uh-oh, he's adding siege tanks. A what? See so Shanks being made tasteless. It's harder to use blink against that. It's One carrier. Uh oh. Uh oh. Five workers. Oh <gasps> no! Ooh! That was so good. All right here we go again. Okay. Um, Stats is taking that um, rainy day base at the top. Yeah, it hits his side storm there on the seed shank. I actually think that was a good call. He's got to eliminate the seed shanks. Those are the real scary. Oh, these here. disruptors! Uh -oh. They're terrible uh -oh. at retreating. Uh -oh. Oh, okay, that's an Archon. I got confused for a second. Excuse me, guys. Is that Disruptor still exploding? Oh, it's like, no, it's I'm a like, Why is that Archon Disruptor shot? It's not going to blow up. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, it's just been this back and forth here where you can see Ooh. that once they start to lose the technical units, like Disruptors or Tanks, the other yeah. side starts to close in. Oh, All right. get away! Those are Hellbats, they're not Hellions! This is so crazy. What Look at this. Carrier? The one carrier sitting in the bottom right comes back. I wonder if Stats escapes in that carrier after he loses this game and goes to the next tournament. You know what the best ending to this game is? What? If Maru forgets that buildings can lift off and then he loses a game that could have been a draw. Oh, That's yeah. the best ending. <laughs> okay, some nice side storms. But it's going to be a while before he can remake that. He instead opts to get Dude, a Archon to push the still carrier in there. There's nothing that hits air. Now look at Maru. He's like, oh, no. It's a blind unit. I blind unit. Oh, I hate those. Oh, this is the most amazing game ever. Oh, my God. The tank got away. No, he didn't. Sorry. He's in tank hell now. Yeah, look um, at that Archon. Having some value against the SCV pull. Pick it what up. What is this game? It's, they're both at 70 supply. Dude, Sats is going to do it, man. This one carrier. The true hero. Mario's laughing to himself. And now... The High Templars come up with their auto attack. They just killed a building. Yes, the Templars are finally going to be a laser attack. High attack can kill buildings. We can shoot laser crystals. Oh, all right. They're like, we're better off if we work together as an Archon. What am I seeing here? Okay, the Command Center's going to go down. That's almost mined out. <gasps> come back here, stalker. <laughs> okay, he's scanning. That's almost yeah, mined out. See, this yeah. is the thing you do before you die. You're like, okay, yeah. how much does he really have left? So Maru going to tough this one out because there's almost nothing left here on this map. Suddenly Stalker Dude. Blade coming pretty handy. Our boy Amon has the biggest banana grin right now. That's right. He's so happy to be watching this game. GG. Oh. Hell yes. That game was something else.